Hello and welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby and today I'm going to be going over power levels. Power levels are actually quite simple but for I know some of our newer players they are a bit perplexing so if you look at my power levels you'll see them right down here in my heads up display. You'll see I have most of my power is in my weapons. I have four subsystems here, weapons, shields, engines, and auxiliary. And most of it, 100, is in weapons. And then I have 15 in shields, 15 in engines, and 30 in aux. I have set these custom. Now the reason that I have most of my power in weapons is because obviously I want my weapons to hit hard. So most of my power is there. This allows when the Plasmonic Leech and Supremacy and other power giving abilities kick in for me to overcap so that I can have as high a weapon power as possible during an entire battle. And then the second highest is Ox. The reason for that is because I am running the trait, here it is this trait auxiliary power configuration offense which gives me some extra damage and accuracy based on my auxiliary power level and that of course is going to increase during battle because I have supremacy in the plasmonic leech on this tune. Okay now for those that don't know it is possible to adjust your power levels You'll see here there are four presets. Okay, there's the attack preset, the defense preset, the speed preset, and of course the balance preset. And most ships, when you get them, they will come balanced. Everything's the same, 40, 40, 40, and this is because I'm a Romulan. On a Federation or straight Federal Klingon tune, this would come as 50. Okay, speed would have your engines at 100 and everything else at different levels engine weapons and shields at 15 and aux at 30 shields or defense puts your shields at 100 your weapons at 30 and your other two at 15 and your attack preset actually I've saved this custom configuration normally your shields are the second highest in the attack preset now you can customize you'll notice this little box here at the top right above the balanced preset if you click it it comes up with the numbers one two and three if you want to customize you click on three okay and you'll notice now they have bar graphs and I can move these as I see fit we okay so I move them around okay so right now I have more speed I can move them as I see fit to move them I can put aux at the highest I want okay so I'm going to put I of course want my weapons at 100 okay let that fill now in order for that to stay there because I'm going to adjust the others later I want that to stay there so I'm going to click the little padlock here and that locks my weapon power at whatever I put there now I'm going to put my aux up as high as it'll let me go okay once I have my power set as I want I click this disk to save and then I can click the number one and it goes back to this view so I can see the numbers okay so power levels remember the higher your power level in weapons the harder your weapons are going to hit so you definitely want to have that as high as you can auxiliary affects the auxiliary power configuration offense skill that gives you extra damage so you want that as high as you can 
and your other two, be, you notice I do have bonuses that come from different things. Okay, so these actually go up quite high during battle. Alright, so that is power levels. Little quick tutorial. This has been Teacher's Corner. You can hear the discussion of Teacher's Corner live on the Pilot Review Show Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I look forward to seeing you there.